Jamie Oliver shares five beautiful children with his wife Jules, who has often spoken about how her family doesn't feel complete. TV chef Jamie, who has a new Channel 4 series Jamie's Five Ingredient Meals, started dating former model Jules when he was 18 and she was 17 and in 2000, the pair tied the knot in a small church ceremony before recently renewing their vows in the Maldives 23 years later. The loved-up couple first welcomed Poppy Honey Rosie, now 21, in 2002, then Daisy Boo Pamela, 19, Petal Blossom Rainbow, 14, Buddy Bear Maurice, 12, and 7-year-old River Rocket Blue Dallas. But in 2021, Jules bravely opened up about her desire for more children and the heartbreaks she's endured trying to make her dream a reality. In 2021, Jules admitted that she was considering IVF to help have a sixth child at 46, saying that the timing was right as their eldest puppy was leaving home for university, making a room available for a nursery. However, she went on to admit that husband Jamie might not be a fan of the IVF route and that she secretly longed for the menopause so that she could put her broodiness to bed. She also revealed that she had suffered a fifth miscarriage during lockdown, and said the second time it happened she could have died due to the amount of blood she lost. Once you have these miscarriages you are always like, this baby is meant to be here, I have to keep trying, she said when asked about expanding their brood on the Life and Soul podcast. So I have thought about IVF because having researched it and spoken to some amazing people, it seems like the right option for my age. But you know that's it's hard because also I've got a partner you know, I've got to think about him I'm not so sure has that keen to do it that way. So I don't want to push anything, because I'm very lucky. I presume when I get to an age when I'm in the menopause, I will think actually thank God I will feel relieved that it's not possible and I can just carry on with my life and you know, relax, because it's always in the back of your head, that's the problem. Jules, who says she first thought about having her own children at the age of 8, said she knew some people would think her dreams of another child were selfish. She added, it's just imagining the baby in the blanket and it's all the lovely things that I've really cherished over the years. It is made much worse because Poppy is going to university and because I think, oh, there you are, Terry's a room free, I'm sure that's a sign. Now I've got the older and the younger, groups of children, and I've got River, I think you know just one more. Life's all about pleasure that just gives me so much pleasure. Speaking about her second miscarriage, Jules said she left it too late to go into hospital and then began to bleed heavily when she was at the doctor's having a breast check in London and was forced to leave hastily after almost fainting. She got into her car but could not stop the bleeding. She said, I was near the Portland, private hospital and I thought him actually gonna drive to hospital. So I sat in the car and it was just getting heavier I thought okay I'm gonna die. So I phoned the portal and I begged them to come and get us, please come and get me because I'm bleeding. They were like if you can just walk and I said bring an ambulance or do what you have to do and this poor young girl came with a wheelchair up Marylebone High Street. Jamie arrived and he was like oh my god it was like a murder scene. It's so visually hideous. I don't remember the rest. I must have almost passed out. I mean, had I left it, had I taken the journey to go home and not the hospital I don't think I would have survived because it was so much blood loss. Speaking to Zoe Clark Coates the founder of the charity saying goodbye which helps with advice and support to anyone who has suffered the loss of a baby, 
Jules urged women to be more open about miscarriage and also said women should be visited by nurses after losing a child in the same way new mothers are visited at home. Jules said, Having had five I know a lot needs to change for other people much younger than me who will go through this. You cannot pack someone off and say off you go. Go and pass your baby and you'll be fine. I don't know how they can do that, I don't know why they do that. Why aren't they calling you every day and saying darling, it's me I'm your midwife. How much blood loss have you had? How do you feel? They do when they come to check the health of the baby every day, why can't they do that with a miscarriage as it could be fatal? The full episode of Life and Soul podcast featuring Jules Oliver is available on Apple, Amazon, Google, Spotify, and Acast. Jamie's 5 Ingredient Meals airs tonight on Channel 4 at 8 p.m.